It's random rare. Boom. And judgment. Hey, has value. Alright. So how many leads do we want to do to act one? How many can we do here? Two leads only? That feels like a best path, right? We're not really doing sparkle. Are we ever doing sparkle into like three leads? It depends what we get on these first two floors. Now we lost the streak, guys, because uh, the last the last leaf one was kind of hard. We were, we were struggling with it. Maybe I could have pulled out the win. I could have definitely survived the hallway fight. A little disappointing that I didn't. And um, who knows what we could take in it from there. But on to the next one. Yeah, the, I'll watch his first two acts are pretty nuts. I mean, look at this. Judgment is doing work, guys. Random rare doing work. Reach of the heavens. Pretty good damage. Wallop, pretty good damage as well. This is where you want like an early weighted meta scale. So, cut through fate. Maybe, maybe we're in a situation where like, maybe we can do the Sparkle or Act 1. I was going to go for this, like these two events. Get one elite, go to a shop, and then another elite. But maybe we can do a Sparkle right now, get it out of the way, and then do three elites. So what punishes us? Uh, Grumman leader doesn't Grumman knob doesn't punish us that much. We have wallop, we have judgment. We have reach of the heaven as well through violence is pretty strong. Yeah, I guess we do sparkle, and then it means we don't get a shot, but it's all good. We're, we we benefit from this and later on. Nah, that's a lot of damage to be taking. In a world where I can probably take no damage. Hall empty fist. Hall empty fist inner piece. Inner piece to get some more calm source. Halt because when we're in wrath, we get more block out of wrath. And we we'll probably want to stay in wrath a lot because we have wall up, so staying in wrath form with halt is pretty good. Empty fist seems quite nice as well to get out. Um I don't know, I feel like I'm getting a lot of attacks. I like halt because I feel like I would like some defense here. I can see empty fist being useful as well though. This is a rough one. This is a rough turn one. Just like a nice judgment and a wall up. That's all we need, baby. Some judgment and a wall up. Now we're a little bit less life for the sparkle. I still think we're fine. Fire pot makes. Ooh, a lesson learned. Not bad. So, is this ever an eruption lesson learned turn with fire pot? And we're staying in this stance with Halt and Wallop in the deck. Popping Miracles as well. Are we ever just lessing running a guy in the middle and then we do mitigate damage? And we have like, I feel like we're killing the guys on the side makes a lot more sense. Because Wallop is not the saving grace. If I do Eruption now, I mean... In total we have 6 energy.
Should we slow play this fight and do vigilance instead? You judge this guy. I can confirm four target ends and three wallops is broken in the watcher of only giving calibers. <laughs> I think it might be useful for lesson learned and for violence and stuff. Yeah, it sucks that we lost the. I agree. It sucks that we lost that run. I feel like. I feel like we could have won that run, obviously. I don't know. I dying to the hallway fight was probably pretty bad for me. I, I could have played it so much better. Just keep the frost orbs, play it, play it differently. I don't know if we won the run, but I, I, I could see a world where we're probably doing fine to win the run. I want to do through violence and then eruption because I want to. Well, I guess I could just do eruption. Well, I want to get lesson learned, right? So maybe we just pass here. So, do we ever just, do we ever just fire pot to get an upgrade, or we slow play this fight? What's up, you hot, can you arc around? We'll see. How reliably can I stall in this fight? I have to draw back. I have so many days. I have to draw back into lesson learned again. But then losing a fire pot is pretty sucky because I have to I have another elite coming up. We have wallop for block. We have other block cards. We have so many days though. Is it worth an upgrade to a fire pot when fire pot is pretty damn heavy I and mean, pretty damn clutch right now? Actually, fire pot is pretty clutch for the fact that I have two hallway fights and an elite coming up. I guess I can just rest. Do fire pot now, get that upgrade, and then rest. I might even have to save fire pot for the slam boss. You never know. I mean, not necessary, but slam boss is pretty easy for this deck because I have through violence, rat form just wins the slam boss. Um, and we have so much days. I think we're gonna we're gonna be losing a lot of HP for this lesson learned. So maybe what we do is this, but we we, we kill when necessary. More wallops. Establishment or wallop? Establishment, we can start giving us some of our energy reduction and we can start taking cards like Protect and Establishment is pretty damn good. It's just if you get it early. Like, it's one of those cards that is probably okay speculatively. It's a very good card. Wallop is a little expensive. The wallop is very premium as well. I don't know. That one is very powerful, but it doesn't do anything at the moment with us. We'll do a wallop number two. The ultimate goal here is lesson learned. All plus, not bad. There, that helps our block. Defense gets us out of wrath sometimes. Pair is great. Lesson learned, please. I don't know if we have it or not. 
we do just still chaos, we can get... Another Raptions is pretty good. A lot of cards are too good in this class, probably. There's a lot of cases for maybe something being too good. Let's get through violence first. Sorry, let's get reached with heavens and then... Let's set up in a, a situation where we just win. One and one more card there. Crescendo through violence, halt, vigilance worth it? Or do I want to save Crescendo? It feels worth because now we can just like next eruption should be hopefully. We get lesson learned. We should be getting it soon, right? I want to leave some life just because I need to do cut through fate to get to it, right? So if I do too much damage, cut through fate kills. So I want to leave it a little bit healthy so cut through fate could allow me to find the lesson learned. Because we're going to get lesson learned right now. You ready? Wait, I shoot third eye first. Just kidding. Huge. So that's another wallop. Versus battle him. Three wallops? Or battle him for smites and guaranteed damage. Aren't we kind of good in damage though? We've had some strikes. We got cut through fate. We got reach for the heaven. We got judgment sometimes. Oh, we're kind of good in damage, right? It's hard to say no to battle him, but it's a third wallop. Maybe there's ever a time where you say no about him as a third wallop. Snake is looking juicy. Also, uh, his energy, energy relic in general is looking nice. There's also another halt. He's burning wrath from quite a bit. I mean, how do we feel about Battle him. Wow, judgment is cruel. Probably worth it to crescendo here, right? Because next turn we have uh, next turn we have wallop as well. Judgment is cruel in this fight as well. Kind of waste of damage, lesson learned. A little bit of waste of damage. Do we care?
Maybe we can draw back into lesson learned. We're on timer. Fuck. Do I care about the wasted damage? Not really. to talk to the hand. Interesting options. I want a shovel now. This is a good time to get a shovel so we can start digging. Why don't we get a shovel in these runs? The eye on the watcher staff is switching. Yeah. It's cool stuff. Uh, why don't you, why don't you just kill this guy? Because this guy, this guy can attack twice, I suppose. Let's do this. Alright, so... We want to split him. And then do vigilance, because we want to get lesson learned. I could just win right now, but we we gotta get the wrath form, yeah. We gotta get the lesson learned. I mean, see what I mean, though. Like, the watcher is pretty strong. Uh, do we want to skip here? It's either Brilliance, Ragnarok, or skip. I mean, it's probably just a skip, huh? Is Brilliance better than skipping? Like, Brilliance sometimes is cool. And we can go for the Ragnarok and get Snekowai. This is a good Snekowai deck. I mean, Ragnarok is cool. I talked to him, but it's, yeah, it's too expensive. It's probably just a skip. I'm trying to think of Brilliance is better than a skip. Yeah. Uh, I feel fine about Slaver's Color. How many leads can we do here? Do like th two leads, maybe? Can we ever do three leads? Is it relevant next turn? Looks like it might be actually. No, I don't like Contribute that much, no. Uh, I want to listen there, but I might just want to have to judge here, I think. I think I have to do some judging. Uh, let's see. It's 81. Maybe 40 damage.
I, I actually want to kill him there with judgment, but I got distracted. Arrow. Uh, so I ended up doing an inferior wallop. But I did mean to kill him there. But I got less than so whatever. Uh, I don't know if we have lethal here, but 18, 14. You guys want to do lesson learned again? We wasted firepower for it. Got no AOE. I'll take the I'll take the consecrate. You guys want to get a regret because there's a shop right there. Guys, look at our gold. Look at our gold. I could judge this guy, technically. Contracrit plus? I would have loved that one, huh? We already have one. Um, Third eye again. Do we need another third eye? Or cut through fit, maybe? Do we need another cut through fit? Do we need another cut through fit? I don't know if we need these cards. I don't think we do. Who's the boss? Cut their face. I guess maybe cut their face is probably the best one here. So we have a lot of gold. Want to do like Scrawl, Frozen Eye, uh, and uh, Captain's Wheel? I guess AoEs are kind of. It feels like Thunder's. Stone Thunder's not going to get that much value. I'll just like pass here everything else. Like, Captain's Wheel is pretty good, but. I'm gonna pass everything else, go for another shop. So upgrade scroll. Last wheel, sure. The frozen eye though, scroll. Probably gonna increase the time of the runs. We know exactly what we're doing though. We know that we have Conjugate here. Should've done talk to him first. I wanna see if I can get um Lesson learned. Lesson learned is pretty far in. Oh, lesson learned is coming up. Unfortunately, actually, I should just do through violence and pass. Not that it matters though. I'm getting the strikes that the strikes that I want to remove. It's crazy. Tori, whoa. Like water at this point? How often do we end in calm? Like we probably want to end in calm at some point. And get some block going. But Wallop is blocking for us. And we don't really end in calm, so like water doesn't do anything for us. And another cut through fate. I think we need it. Well, cut the face is pretty good now that we have frozen eye though. Like it's even better with frozen eye. You can 
really manipulate your deck. I'll pass for now. Play some learn next turn. Uh, make sure we have like eruption lesson learned. We have also eruption wallop. Money pyramid. Eruption wallop next turn. No, we need energy. Eruption wallop's kind of scary. We have consecrate coming up, so. If we're taking this damage, we're just stopping it. Consecrate wins next turn. Consecrate judgment wins next turn. You save life. Consecrate judgment vigilance. I guess Wallop does the same thing as well. We can actually try to stall for lesson learned. So instead of doing vigilance, we can do third eye. Never mind, I lied. That wallop would kill. If, if wallop killed, I can do third eye. If I can do third eye, then I can get back into lesson learns. And maybe I still get it with scroll, maybe. With scry, rather. Might be worth it to. Might be worth it to do, like. Uh, how much? Do I want to go for double? Mm. I can take one damage. I can do third eye. I can do judgment third eye third eye and, and take one damage and get closer to. Uh, I'll take one damage. I'll take one damage to get lesson learned. So if this allows us to get out of the form, and. All our strikes are upgraded. Cool. Do we ever need to get out of the empty form? Like, yeah, we do. We do need to get out sometimes. Because all the way, all the way, get out is vigilance. All right, I'll take one. Juzu. Key this. I have a lot of money for a shop again. Because you're less on larger. Do I need to get out of the phone? Next turn we have like we have wallop. We have vigilance as well next turn. Frozen is very good, yeah. Frozen is very good, dude. We have less on our next turn. Our deck's very slowly getting upgraded. Foresight's very good. Do we like study more than Foresight? Study's pretty good in the same in the same way because we cards are we we have frozen eyes, so we can see what we're drawing into with study. Foresight allows you to scribe before you even draw. Study allows you to have insights and play around big turns with this frozen eye. Like they work kind of similarly. This allows you to hold on to insights. Good morning, guitar. Welcome back. They work kind of similarly. A little bit worse for time reader, I guess. Uh, I think we can go for a shop into an elite, right? Or do, what if we just double elites? We don't need campfire, right? We use double elites here. We don't need campfire. We get double wallop next turn. If we draw a full hand, we get crescendo wallop halts and stuff. Um, am I? Do I rather reach for the heavens or just save my miracle? Probably save the miracle, right? Uh, 
there a world where we just like don't do all up? Do we not do crescendo here? Yeah, we do. Some block for eight. Let's do more damage here. Third eye's pretty good because we have. Like, Lexion is just a really good turn, actually. Did I waste a miracle? We can draw to Consecrate here. I'll tell you guys. Now we have Meditate to get out of uh, Wrath form. I think Regent Pod is pretty good. Is Regent Pod better than the Strength Pod here? Strength Pod is pretty good, but I, I'll get the region. Maybe Strength Pod is better, actually. I don't, maybe I don't care about the region. Oh, uh, that's Dead Branch. Alright, guys. We can do Dead Branch, Discovery, Medkit, or Remove. You guys want to do some Dead Branch stuff? Or you guys want just Discovery, Medkit? Make it being pretty, pretty fun. Is there something I want to buy? My deck's pretty streamlined. If I do dead branch, I'm, I feel like it's just gonna bloat me. Well, dead branch miracles is, are fun. Maybe just make it remove, remove a strike here. You guys want to see some discovery though? Save our money. Want to mess around with some discovery stuff? It's a pretty fun card, right? And we're strong enough to make it work. Yeah, this card is a pretty good card, yeah? Add some RNG to the run. There's also like... Saving seems better. There's that poopy card. My deck's just streamlined. Another wallop, next one coming up. We do foresight now. I, I don't get to play wallop next turn. I do foresight now. Is it better to just like? Maybe it's just better to just block. No, I, mean, no, I don't like foresight as much. But we can get out of. No, I don't like foresight as much though. You guys play Cut Your Fit now? Yeah. And then just win next turn. We can't get lesson learned. We also won't get a full region. I guess I can try to get lesson learned. Lesson learned is pretty far in. We can third eye some of the crap away though. And then. I said we third eye some of the crap away. I said we third eye all of this stuff. And then next turn we can draw to these four cards. So then we do cut through fate. Oh, we can guarantee it. Isn't that kind of crazy that we can guarantee that shit? And now next turn we draw to these five cards. We've cut through fate, we guarantee lesson learned. Pretty cool, huh? Perfect is nice. Hey, you want? I just want to show you guys. 
How about see a wallop, take a wallop? That's the name of this run, guys. See a wallop, take a wallop. See how far it gets us. See a wallop, take a wallop. See how far it goes. Is that guy will be still pretty good in this deck? I think I like vigilance here. Uh. Where's the lesson learned? It's right there, so let's do this. And now we get lesson learned, baby. For the price of one life. For the price of one life. Foresight Plus. I feel like. Empty body might be useful. Like I can't be in wrath all the time. And empty body is blocked. Like it's out. I suppose it's meditate. I suppose. And it's maybe more halt. Like we're in wrath from a lot. Halt is really good, isn't it? Like halt is just really good. <laughs> establishment gets better though. Now that we have meditate, establishment is pretty cool. We're playing one step, maybe. I'm gonna upgrade meditate now. So we have Contrigate next year, which is pretty good, and we also have like Third Eye and stuff. Our Rafframs are at the bottom of the deck. I don't think I want Rex for the Heavens. I think I, I don't... I don't mind these cards. Calipers would be good here. I had a two two streak. I'm I'm doing a, uh, doing a watcher run for the homies. And we did lose a streak that we had, to. and a very unfortunate series of events. That, that defect run shows me I, I could play. I mean, I always see that I can play so much better. Like there's so many runs I can play so much better actually. Like so many times where the run was in my possession. Gotta seize it. Alright, are we scared about this fight actually? He's not summoning, but maybe I should keep it alive just in case he summons after. He usually. No, I think we do this. Pretty good here, huh? So a scrawl though. Is this a scrawl turn before debuffs? I'm not sure. But if I don't scroll now, then I'm not getting back into it for a long time. Do I want to scroll out? Reach for the heavens? And play that card? Our next block cards are kind of. I guess we can. Meditate. I'm just gonna play wallop and meditate the wallop. And scroll out some of the bad stuff and get only to wallops, I guess. I wanna keep her alive, right? But I also wanna do the damage. Because if he summons again, it's nice to have this guy at this life, right? So I don't play Consecrate for that reason? can kill him but I don't want to kill him because if he summons again it's nice to have that guy at that life but maybe it doesn't matter I'm still missing 18 damage on the boss do I care about 18 damage on the boss I'm thinking about leaving this guy alive just in case he summons again after this it's only 18 damage right fuck it He 
summoning again. <laughs> Holy shit. Where's calipers? Worst case scenario, 22, 39, right? So, 61. And if I do wallop, strike, empty fist, with halt, I have um, 22, 22, 25. 25 plus 13 is, I'm um, sorry, 38. 38 plus 41, so we, ne we never die. Best case scenario is this, and then we win less and learn next turn. We should pass. That's weird, it's like rounds up, so it was 10 damage, I, I assumed 11, but it's 10 damage. It rounds up. It's Wisher Pass here. I, w I wonder if Snickle White becomes a thing. Boom, okay. Curse Key, Sozu. I mean, I'm, I kind of like my potions. I, I think Speed Pot's an okay potion. Do we need our potions from here on out? I think... There's a world where we can take Curse Key, and, and we already have... So we can skip all the chests, actually. We can just... Keep potions and skip all the chests. We don't need to take any chests. And if we get a curse, whatever, we can remove it. So maybe actually curse key over. Yeah, curse key over. So is it here? I would like to maximize potions. Let's see if we can get Mind Bloom. A couple, couple of elites. So we get like three elites over here. And we get like a, some events. Some hallway fights. Over here we get. Three, two, get three events as well. Two elites only. Let's go for three elites. We can even get a shop if we want. Where's lesson learned? How far down is lesson learned? Pretty fucking far. Holy shit. Lesson learned pretty fucking far down, boys. And Kurski's also not that bad because we're not, probably picking up one chest or anything. Got that lesson learned, boys. Next step, guys, is getting Wish out. How do we get Wish out this turn? Does anybody know how to get Wish this turn? I don't.
the establishment place so that we could uh, get our healing. I want to get establishment and wish. Wish is the bottom of the deck. Oh, wonderful. You gotta go. Oh, take care. Take care, Draco. Nah, this guy's a wimp. Got the wish just in time, baby. Got the wish just in time. Wait. Just in time. Hey, I'll tell you what. Optimal. Wave the hand. Good rewards. Lose a defend. Gladly. You guys want to do shop or more events? Events equals uh, Mind Bloom. Shop equals... Well, it's a shop and then we can also get a, um, a hallway fight. And hallway fights give us upgrades and hallway fights give us wish gold sometimes. Hey, buddy. We got ourselves a Mind Bloom. So we could remove a normality here and then have one for the rest of the run. Or we can just take a rare relic. So we can remove one normality for sure. And have one for the rest of the run. And play around it with Frozen Eye. Take a rare relic, huh? You guys are crazy. You guys are super nuts. Super, super, super nuts. We get gold here, there, boys. Uh, give me the gold. Give me the loot. Calibers would be good, guys. If we calibers, I want us. I want us to collectively scream. If we get calipers, we collectively go yee or something. Can we get lesson learned here? Is is it question? I'm sure eventually. The only oh damn with Tars putting the money on the line. Get Tars putting where the money where the mouth is. We gotta get closer to lesson learned. That's the ultimate goal. Look how strong we are compared to the Guardian. Look how far we've come. Look how strong we are compared to this chump Aru. Meditate lesson our next turn and we profit. So we got gold and we got upgrades from this fight. Pretty sick. Meditate plus huge. Because we have establishment. Got a gear, not bad. Alright, we have five energy in boss fights, so wheel kick or cut through fate become a lot better. Wheel kick and cut through fate become a lot better because we have five energy in boss fights. I'll take the cut through fate. Maybe wheel kick is the play though. There's a world. Well, that was indeed the play. Um. Let us find the wish and the lesson learned. 
Like, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Like, I don't think I could always get. Lesson learned, but. Like, for instance, I can take one damage here to get lesson learned next turn. Fine. I'll take it. I want to get Wish though, but I don't think I can, unfortunately. How do we get Wish? We can't do both? At some point, goals can become more important. Alright. So we got Rushdown. There's also Flurry Blows with Talk to the Hand, and Rushdown's pretty good. Curse you, brother. Curse you. Alright, we can lift now. Because we don't need to upgrade. We lift again. Uh, how do we like this fight? Foresight, Wave of the Hand, Judgment. Get Foresight out this turn. Uh, we should be in Eruption, right? Um, do we do meditate and let this guy hit us in the face? Or do we miracle empty fist first? Wait, could we just get lethal on this boss? Did, did we just ha kind of have like lethal? Look at our damage. I don't mind getting hit in the face, I don't think. Where's Consecrate? Ooh, far down. I don't mind getting hit in the face. I kind of do. With Consecrate being so far down. Is it potion here? Right, we could. No, but I don't mind getting hit though. Kind of need to get closer to Consecrate. Pretty good here, huh? Should I just be focusing the, the boss? I feel like I should be. Watch out. Learns coming up. This is just a pure disrespect for run. The run is just pure disrespect. <laughs> See you while I take them up eight. No matter what, we're keeping we're keeping consistent with the theme, boys. Remember, don't forget, this is see a wallop, take a wallop. That's where it's always been. Was that too many wallops? Maybe. I can skip this, right? We don't give a damn about it. It's recall. <laughs> I 
I, I kept that interesting by doing Sea Wall Take of All Up. It's kind of cool, right? At the same time, it arose on the side of Memon. Oh no, not like this. Whoo, howdy, howdy do, brother. Well, if I got to rest, I'll tell you what, I guess I'll rest. No big deal. This fight's a little annoying, actually, for this deck. Now that I think about it. Now that I'm in the situation where I'm thinking about it. This fight, a bit annoying. I guess I should probably let's learn back, huh? We just do wish for gold and get rid of the fire pot. Is there more healing we can do right now? Can we do another middle challenge? Maybe at some point. Oh my, my little boy is sick, guys. My boy's been having diarrhea for a long time. If he has diarrhea one more day, guys, I'll have to take him in. He's been having diarrhea for like two days. Dude, we don't even need an upgrade. We, we upgrade wave of the hand, but like I, I need upgrade wave of the hand and defend. But, and a wish. Okay, and a cut through fit. Okay, we have three upgrades we need. So maybe it's worth... Trying to go to... I'm not taking him now. I'm saying if he happens again... He finally passed something that was really... Like, he got something out of his system that he was... He ate, like, some stupid cloth thing that was stuck in there. He finally got out of his body today. So if he... Maybe if he keeps having diarrhea... Nah, I'll take it. But it's COVID-19. It's hard to get a vet. This is Albi. Oh, he's so small, so cute. He's been having trouble. Hmm, poor boy. Anyways, uh... I need the upgrades, but fuck it. Double rush joints- double rush down is too much, right? Said a little bit of my scene. Give it a hand. Do we? I guess we like. I guess we like the hand next turn, huh? That's a, where's calipers? Where's my damn calipers? Wait, do I like this hand? What the fuck is this hand? Ah, right, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was not paying attention, my friends. I do not like this hand. Yikes. You hear they shut down all schools in Michigan for the rest of the year? They shut down a lot of things. It's tough. It's tough stuff. Empty fish is awkward here. Hey, hey, hey! All I need is a little bit. You wishing for gold, boys? Not quite yet. Lesson learned on the agenda. Lesson learned is on the agenda. Don't do too much damage. 
Did we get all our powers out? I think we did, right? We got the wish upgrade. Eight. Duvido? Now we got... If, if we live one more time, guys, we got four strength. Four strength on the Watcher. Pretty good. Oh, they, should, they closed it down for a while, but not for the rest of the year. Yeah, I think Florida has the rest of the year shut down as well. Craziness. The nation. I mean, we did a little too, too little too late, don't you think? Don't you guys think we did a little too little too late, maybe? These five wallops, I don't know how much of a meme they are. It might be a pretty decent sized meme. We want to get Wish and Lesson Learned, so let's slow play this fight, right? I'll tell you what, I want to kill this spiker before she gets out of control. So I'm going to do this. Thinking about, but now I need now I need the spiker alive so I can do uh, wish. Wow, the washer gets a lot of gold. Holy shit, man! God, this shit's out of control. You guys, yeah, do you have? You guys have online classes? Whoopsies. Oh, no big deal. Matter of fact, this is perfect. Matter of fact, boys, this is perfect. But let me show you why. Let me learn you something. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, uh... Wait a minute. I, uh... Mm. I meant to do something different, a little bit more like this. There she blows. Can I even do it though? Wait. Fuck. I want to learn this lesson, man. Oh, we have to wait for meditate? Meditate makes it happen? How does meditate make it happen? No, 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 no. We need this upgrade because we, we, we currently need to defend upgrade and we also have wave of the hand is very important upgrade needs to happen. No kappa, no memes. Wave of the hand needs to happen. Maybe halt would be the play. Maybe halt's the play. I need to do enough damage. Uh, brother, man. We did it now. We finally did it. 
Oh. Thank God I upgraded that defend, man. Wow. Thank God we struggled for that one. Guys, the Watcher has a mini game, and is how can you optimally upgrade your cards to lesson learned? To? You don't care about the fights. Anyways, so the city of reality is pretty good because the safety has become reduced cost. Same thing with protect. I'll take one. I'll take a one of. A deck is a little bloated. I'll take a one of. I don't think I needed that, to be honest. All I need is a little bit. Establishment. Rush down. Give me that wave of the hand. Wave, 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 wave. And then give me that, 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 that. I like this in reality. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like crescendo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then bam. 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 Foresight, foresight. All I need. Bam, bam, bam. Calibers would be great here. Maybe I don't lessen her. No, we still need lessen her because Wave of the Hand is such an important upgrade. So, let's get Wish out then. Never mind. Never mind. All right, let's learn where you at. Boom! Perfect time, brother. Join the crew. Full life and an upgrade. Nice to have you on board. All right, wave of the hand needs to be upgraded. Empty body is kind of good. Gets us out of the stances. Hey, I saw an ember that opened my third eye. Gave me heart reputations for like an hour and had me shaking for like two hours straight. So how was your morning? It wasn't like that. My morning was fine. I... That was, um... Sorry you had a nightmare, man. That sucks. Having nightmares is rough. My only question is... Were you using prismatic shard? Because you have nightmare and third eye in your deck. I'll leave. Yeah, I'll leave. Yeah, sorry, not I'll leave. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the boot rope is intangible. Yeah, I hear you. It's like, it's unnerving. In all seriousness, though, this is a hard fight. Because, you know what we lack in this deck? We lack Blasphemy. It's not the best scroll. Five strength to fight, baby. But yeah, not the best scroll. But it will have to do. question is, can I actually stay in wrath form? No kappa. You can only play... You can only play two cards next turn. So what if we play all our cards now? Strength them up. One, two...
Where's Blasphemy? I need you. I guess Wave of the Hand is okay this turn? Fifty-four block. He's doing sixty-six damage with fifty-four block. The problem is, I don't want to strength him up too much. I don't want to give him too much strength. Shouldn't feels really good though. With double wallop, talk to the hands. One, two, three, four cards. I can play four cards next turn. Four cards only next turn. That could be like Foresight, Rush Down, Vigilance. Talk to the hand Wallop. Wallop is, um. Sixteen plus six. Do we, do we do the wish for gold now? I mean, it's relevant, guys. The Act 4 shop exists. How are we killing this fight? We got a lot of strength, but I'll be honest, we don't have a lot of ways to dump our strength. There's no tantrum, there's no flying sleeve, there's no Ragnarok. We're just wallops. And I have a, a sneaking suspicion that wallop deck is not that good. Wish strength. How am I killing this guy? Thank you. 
Did I get lesson learned off? Okay, I'll be honest. I need lesson learned because... Wait for things not upgraded. The issue is... This is a fucking hard fight. We have everything upgraded except Wave of the Hand. And cut through fate. Fine. Get out of here. Excuse my French. Wallop wish for... So, this is the point in which we say... Uh, I am very sorry, but I cannot wish for gold. I think I'll take it slow, plated armor, right? Who am I kidding? This fight's easy? This fight's filthy easy, is it not? I don't think we play establishment. Uh, is there ever a world where wishing for 30 gold is going to make a difference here? Okay. I could save the life, or I could take one damage and get my thing procs now. If I get some 10 plus of procs, I draw into a lot of good things. So if I go for gold, I can draw into a lot of good things. If I go for strength, we also went through that as well. Need the goals to make a difference? I've got different plans, brother. Why do I have so much damage? I uh, goddamn. I didn't play establishment, that's the problem. Foresight's worth it though, right? To play? Is it? I mean, we never take damage. Force just helps us get it to wallops. We're safe to talk to them for the second phase. We're kind of just rolling in it right now. Our wallop's kind of far down. Rush down, I don't need to play now. Let's just finish this first phase. All right, brother. And then we'll get to the, the good stuff later on. Upgrade this, this wave of the hand. It needs to happen. The lesson learned, brother. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, wait a minute. I discarded you. Uh oh. No me gusta damage to my face. No, no, no. Not good, not nice. Not good, not nice. Wait, lesson learned exists, right? We gotta get it. Where's my tape?
Wait, now I can't convince it less than because I uh, redraw my deck. Ah. This one was coming. We did it. Up your way for the hand, please. Boom. Okay, good. Sundial is uh, primed and ready. Alright, so what do we upgrade? We upgraded our last Cut Through Fate. I wish we could lift. I wish we could do other things. Alright, our deck's fully upgraded, guys. 34 cards, no apotheosis, everything's upgraded. Seems fair. Okay, so we have... Ancient Pot, Speed Pot, win the game? That wins the game, right? Okay, so Ancient Pot, Speed Pot. Maybe Ancient Pot for Vulner, we never know. Then we have... Smooth Stone... And maybe we do a cheeky remove of the strike. Because what's better than a strike? One of the five wallops. Because what does wallop do? It gives me block. So remove a strike, five wallops. Dexterity's not as good as wallop, but dexterity makes my blocks kind of nutty. Do we like threaded needle? I mean, threaded needle's not bad. But I like removal here. Okay, maybe it's just threaded needle. Fuck. I want to remove a strike, but now I'm not sure. Thread Needle is not going to last past one multi-hit. Removing a Strike is so much better. Another Cut the Fate probably feels... Maybe like Cut the Fate Dark Shackles, that kind of stuff. To be honest, it's probably Dark Shackles. Another Cut the Fate. I could probably do a Fasting. Not worth it. Ancient Pot for the Speed Pot is better in my opinion. Or just for the Vulnerable. That's five strength. That's five strength. So if we do eruption, we're taking 42, 24. Together that's 66. And I'm only blocking for 34. Currently, right now, I'm only taking 12 damage. If I just do wallop, I take 12 damage. 12 damage only. If I do wallop. I think I know what I like better. Baby, I'm feeling up. Maybe dun 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 dun. Let me see. Thirty-four. I'm so into you. All right. Five strength. I know it's crazy. I'm spoiled. Alright, how do we kill this guy this turn? Does anybody know? Is the hand worth it? Is the hand worth it here? Probably, yeah.
This is actually awkward turning. I actually don't do as much as I want to. It turns out I wasted, I wasted one mana here. They're getting 30 block right now, right? They're getting 30 block right now? I mean, do we have enough life for the heart? Probably. Do we need this to learn anymore? We, we would like to heal back up if anything. Oh, that's awkward. Lesson Arn hits nothing. Our deck is upgraded. Oh, wait. Lesson Arn can hit the cut through fader drug shackles. These guys lived longer than they should have, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe my opinion's wrong. Lesson learned for Drug Shackles. Alright, so lesson learned for Drug Shackles. That doesn't make a difference in the fight. The Cut Through Fate can make a difference, though. The uh, Cut Through Fate can make a difference. Drug Shackles doesn't make a difference. It's not really a hassle to stall this, is it? He getting blocked. How much block is he getting in this turn? So we do it next turn. We're doing it. We're doing it, brother. We got it. So. Dark Shackles, the one that didn't want. Easy. All right. I told you, guys, the theme of the deck remains and it still is. See a wallop, take a wallop. Now, you're probably thinking, Jeremy, you're making the run harder for yourself. I know. I realize that. But the theme is see a wallop, take a wallop. And you know what? I can't let you guys down now. Because what is a watch room without some challenge involved? Today's challenge, see a wallop, take a wallop. Well, that is one, two, three, four, five, six wallops. So cool. What is this wallop thing he keeps saying? 
What's up his wall? Kill it. Uh, so next turn we have Judgment, which is bad. Do we want to stop the Vulnerable? Do we need to? Let me think here. I can get Speed Putt, sure. But what is Speed Putt to Wallops? Absolutely nothing. But what is what is Vulnerable to my face? Absolutely everything. Next turn is kind of sucky, so we want to like cut through Fate out the Judgment. We do get Scrawl next turn with Foresight, Rush Down. There's some good stuff going on next turn. You got poopy butt, buddy. You got big poopy butt. All right, guys. So if we were to do wallop, we can get out of it with what? We can get out of it with nothing. All right. Let's think about this turn. I'm sorry, buddy. Go lay down over there. There's a little bed. Look at the bed. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're weakened. The weakened is quite scary. I want to get Foresight out. 90 damage if I play Wrath. And I Wallop's going to block for 20, 48 minus... Okay, so 44. That's too much. Now if I sc scroll into this... I can, I can scroll into the weakened. Can I scroll into the Meditate? Three cards. If I do rush down, I get two cards. And if I, can I scroll into one, two, three, four, five, six cards and meditate? Okay. This might be a really big turn, guys. Hold your horses. Okay. Might be a really big turn. Three cards here. All right. So my hands. Is this? You just want to spreadsheet this? You guys want to spreadsheet this? So weak potentially draw to meditate. All right. Let's just do mental math. All right. Six cards in hand. If I do it, play a miracle, eight cards in hand. Boom. Rush down, seven cards in hand. Crescendo, nine cards in hand. So that means I'm at Wallop of Center's Bang with nine cards in hand. Okay? At that point, with nine cards in hand, I want to draw six cards. So I need to get my hand down. So once you play Scrawl, Scrawl would be negative one. So to draw six, I need to get down to four cards after I play Scrawl. So I need to get rid of five cards. That means I'm lying. I can do Cut Through Fate instead. Cut Through Fate, get rid of one, two. Fuck, I want to do Wave of the Hand. Maybe I do Halt instead. Wave of the Hand is really good though. Wait. All right, so let's say we don't do Halt. We get rid of all three of those. We get Wave of the Hand. Boom. Now Scrawl, I only need to draw two cards, which is very easy problem is I need to end with meditate okay and wave of the hand costs one so this is one one cut their fate is one that's three energy wallop is two so that's five energy so I have room for one more energy that means I can play foresight I can play foresight problem with all of this I take a lot of damage from play it and set this up. Sure. Also, I wonder if Halt is just better. Right, cover some hearts. How you doing, Rose? How you doing with COVID? How you doing everything over there? How's the baby? The deck is uh, see all the tickle wallops. So we took as, as many wallops as we can get. We have six at the moment. So if I did my math correct, guys, we're good to go. Mental math complete. I lied. Third eye changes everything to be even smoother. Smoother. Smooth. Smoother. Der. Smooth. Smoother. Smoother. That's a word. All right. Baby doesn't have COVID. We're great. Nice. As long as baby doesn't have COVID, we're, we're, we're happy about that, right? Third eye means I can discard this, 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 
this, this, and then I can only draw into meditate and wave of the hand. And then we can do maybe a bigger turn. Would we like a second wall up though? Maybe we want to keep the hole. So maybe we just get rid of one, two, three, four, five. And then we draw into three cards. So that changes things. So draw three cards, I play scroll once. So then I'm gonna draw four cards because I'm drawing out the void. Maybe drawing out the void is good. The following turn is a little bit scary. But how much energy do I need if I draw out the void? Alright, so one, two, three, four energy. The void makes me at five, so I can play one more card. And that no, I need to play Wave of the Hand Meditate. So uh draw out the void is a little bit scary because I want to play Wave of the Hand Meditate. So if we don't do third eye. Well if we do third eye then. If I do rush down, if I do third eye rush down, and then crescendo. Okay, so let's do this again. Rush down means I can play these two cards and draw into halt wave. And then, so that's one, two, three. Four, five, six, and the void is make me not play that. Did we just like, scry out the void? Actually, is it possible to scry out the void with cut through fate? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm, I'm one mana short. Fuck. If I had a spreadsheet, this would be so much easier, but I'm just doing it in my mental math, and okay. Okay, okay, okay. One, two. Alright, so what if we do this? Crescendo. Oh, third eye crescendo. Then I do rush down. So third, third eye crescendo. Right, third eye is getting rid of. Go through fate third eye. And this, so we're drawing. Maybe we're getting rid of all this. We're drawing into halt. Halt, wave of the hand, slam, meditate. So that's one, two, three, four cards. Okay. So if I do. Third eye, I'm at seven. Crescendo, I'm at six. Then scroll draws five. If I make a draw five, then I can get rid of Ascender's Bane. So then I can do one, two, get rid of these two. So then I get rid of these three. So then I draw one, two, three, four, five. And then we play the rest of our cards. So, and that together would be one energy. Wall up is two, so four, five, so four here. And then wave the hand, meditate. Okay. So, what do we decide? Third eye. And crescendo, scroll. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Start doing some weakened stuff. Every bit of weekend works, matters, right? And we want to play one, two, three, four, five worth of energy. Uh, the turn was important, the turn was important. The turn was important. The turn was important, mate. I gotta tell you that the turn was important. It's in my contract. One damage. Boom! Yeah. Well, that was exciting. Uh, well, what next? Oh, cool, man. I mean, I say one damage. We took some face damage, but still, that was a cool turn. Cool turn. Maybe I could have... That was cool. That was just cool.
I'm excited, okay? I'm, let me be excited. So wallop wallop wish. I think it talks to the handout before the artifacts. Get the next next turn. We have no good potions. Just like so. Question: We wish for strength here, yeah? That helps him kill me, kill him faster, and then strength gives us better wallops. Absolutely, I couldn't think of a better plan. I didn't get to, get to see reality out, but that's fine. All right, so we're not gonna lesson. We're gonna get lesson run out of the deck because we want the deck to be streamlined. Only wallops, guys. And I know we can BM and be like, oh, six is sick. By the way, oh my god, it's ominous. Sixty six is uh, sorry. Lesson learned. It could be BM, but I don't really care about the BM here. Let's be honest. I don't. I don't really care. All right, we have eruption wallop next turn. It's pretty nice. I got to talk to the handout as well. A Russian wallop wallop? In the following turn we have... Wallop wallop again? He's no longer weakened next turn. So he's doing 60 damage. 90 damage if I get an eruption. But then I'm, I'm doing 42... 36... Seventy-eight, seventy-eight, seventy-nine. Taking some damage, and then next turn we can do wallop vigilance. That should be enough, right? Wait, I forgot that we had we drawn to avoid here. But oh, we drawn to avoid right now. Uh I guess it's better to get out of the way now. Wait, that's fine. Dark Shackles is no longer relevant because we don't have any ways to get rid of artifacts, right? How the potion doesn't do anything for me. We can also just wallop wallop, but we do significantly less damage that way. But I technically can do wall of wall up in full block. Am I, is it my time to do that? Or I think we push for damage, right? Yeah. So this is just get out of our deck. We take a little bit more damage, but that's fine. Gotta get rid of the slime, right, in order to get the vigilance. One, two, three, four, five. Do we do we do vigilance or are we staying wall up here? We staying vulnerable. Staying wrath rather. So, we've got reapply weakens on the following turn. I guess we have the hands good, we can reapply weaken, right? Is that all we want to do? No, we want to do like. Wave of the hand with things like. Cut through fate and halt. Full block. Now we do wave of the hand. Nancy next turn. Oh my god. All 
Our damage is nuts. Wait, we can stay in this form. But I won't. But I won't. See, wallop, take wallop is in effect, guys. See a wallop, take a wallop was in effect, and it was effective. Hell yeah, brother. GG, GG. Alright, so we won twice, lost once today. You know what, and that defect win, or defect run, was a doozy. It hurt me. It really did. Because I think we could have won it, but, oh well. Not bad. Two wins a day keeps the doctor away. Also, I don't know why I keep saying hell yeah, brother. It's really it's really a little bit cringe. And uh, you guys should stop me. Alright, so if you hear me say hell yeah, brother, just uh, ha ha in the chat. Some weird verbiage going on in my mouth. It's like verbal diarrhea.